Hi everybody, welcome back. I hope you had a wonderful week. So today in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to, to maximize the uh, power of open source GitHub repositories so you can learn from the repositories and from the code. Specifically, I'm going to show you how to download and clone this, my GitHub repository that's all about um, Dash, Plotly, and data visualization in Python into your computer so then you can install the libraries, run the code, <clears throat> and learn how to create your own dashboard apps with all this free code. Um, I'm also going to show you in the free code, there's um, links to the, to the tutorials on YouTube that is all here. So all these videos are tied to the GitHub code. Um, so you'll be able to, to make the connection and this will make your learning process of Dash Plotly and, and um, data visualization in Python a lot easier and a lot quicker. So um, this is what we're going to do today. We're going to sh I'm going to show you how to clone the, the, the code, how to install the necessary libraries, how to learn from the code when you run it on your computer. And then I'm going to highlight three things that you, you should pay attention to for the uh, dashboard apps to work correctly. And then I'm, at the end, I'm going to go over the YouTube playlists right here um, to give you a breakdown of what each Play a playlist includes so it's um, easier for you to understand which video you want to see. All right, so let's get started. So um, the first thing we want to do is uh, um, clone the, 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 put the code from GitHub onto your computer. So to clone the code, there, there are two ways to do this. One way is through zip, right? So you can go here. This is my repository, dash by plotly, go into code, click here, and then just do download zip. All right, we're going to download the zip and we're going to put it into our downloads folder right here. And now I'm going to open a downloads folder. I think it's about, what is it, 47 megabyte. Open the downloads folder and you'll see that it's right here. Dash by Plotly Master. It's all inside, inside the zip and everything is inside here. And this, um, this file that you just downloaded, this repository, you can just move into your um, folder where you want to to run your your um, your PyCharm or your Visual Studios. The other way to do it is to copy this. We're copying this line of code, this HTTPS like this right here, and then open your PyCharm or your Visual Studios or whatever Python app you use, maybe Spider or Atom, and I'm, I'm going to learn from GitHub. This is a directory, directory that I created, learn from GitHub right here, and I'm gonna make sure that I open the terminal down here, and in there, CD, make sure you're CD'd inside learn from GitHub. Right now I'm in there, but if you're not, if you're like in other or in a different directory, make sure you go into learn from GitHub, so you're in the correct folder, or whatever folder you wanna call it, and here here, you're going to do git clone, and we're going to copy paste the HTTP from GitHub, right? So what we're copy pasting here is this one that we, we copied from here, right? So we copy this right there, and it's the cloning the whole GitHub um, repository into this directory, right? Now there is uh, uh, 8 megabyte, there's about, we need to wait until it's 40 megabytes, so everything gets cloned. Once this is cloned, one second. Okay, so that was done. That took about three seconds. Once this is cloned, you can go into the dash by plotly um, directory that we that that's, uh, we just cloned, and now you can open this up. And all of this right here, all of this is actually this whole GitHub repository. It's all of this. And now you can run any app that you want to run. Well, actually, we have to install the libraries first, right? I mean, if you don't have the libraries installed. What you can do is this. Install, these are, I'm gonna highlight these for you, these libraries are NumPy, Pandas, Dash, and Dash Bootstrap are 90% of, 95% of all the code in here uses those libraries. So if you don't have them, just go into terminal right here and just do pip install. Let's make this a little bit bigger so you can see. And here, just do pip install install dash. I'm not going to install it right now because I already have it. Or pip install, I would recommend with starting with numpy, pip install numpy, and then pip install pandas, and then dash, and lastly pip install dash bootstrap because I use that in many of my apps. Okay, and now once you do that, 
all, almost all these um, um, apps should work. You might encounter an app that might not work because you don't have the library. Take this for example, this, um, this for good Sankey diagram. So I'm going to go into Sankey because I want to learn how to do a Sankey diagram. Um, where is it? Dash components, make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so it's learn from others and we're going to go into, oh, that's not it. There we go, it's analytic web apps, viz for good, and the, the tree map, and we're going to go into Sankey. All right, let's open this. And now if I run it, you'll see, you do hit the play, small play button here. And now if you run it, you'll, you'll see this error. This error is, come on, come on, this is always a little bit slower. Um, missing optional dependency open, blah, blah, blah. Use pip to install this. So you just copy this. It's just telling you this library does not exist, right? Because there are some libraries that other apps use that you did not we did not install. So go back to terminal and then just do pip install oops, that. And that will install it. And once this is installed, Right now, you'll be able to go back to the, the, the code, um, run it, and it would work. Let's just double check that it actually works to make sure that I'm speaking the truth. Um, go back, play, there we go, run. Let's run it again. There you go. So it ran, click on this, go here, and now we have our dash app our sankey.py app that works and changes as we want it to change. Okay, so let's close this. All right, so we installed the necessary libraries. We installed additional libraries if needed. Now, um, I'm gonna show you uh, some of my suggestions of how you can learn from the code. So for example, if you wanna learn from the dash intro um, code that I created um, or dashboard app, go into dash uh, interactive other, I think I put it in other, and then you'll go into dash introduction and here we'll click on intro, let's close Sankey. And this is introduction code. You'll see here at the very bottom, the YouTube link. So you can click on this link, um, copy it, paste it into your browser, and you'll see that it'll take you to the tutorial that talks about this, 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 this dashboard app, right? So um, now I can run it, intro. Great, and if I click on this, this will come up, and here I have my dashboard app that's in the, uh, the tutorial that I created. And now you can play around with it. My recommendation to learn for the code is that you can ch change the values of the different parameters. This is the choropleth. Maybe I don't want to see USA. Maybe I want to see world. Save this. Run it again. And we'll see in, in a few seconds it's going to load. We'll see that now instead of the US, it's going to show us the whole world as a scope. Um, same thing with um, an example here, um, year. If we want to change this year, this is 2015, right? By default, 2015 in the job. See how we change the scope? Now it's now it's the whole world. But if we run this, 2015 is the first year. Maybe I don't want to see 2015. Maybe I want to see 2017. Save it. And now if it will run, because I played around with the value, now by default, instead of 2015, it will be 2017, you see? So there's many different things you can, you can do with the code and learn from it. Um, uh, but, but, but that's what I would encourage you to do. Go into the code, um, change things you want to change, change labels, change values, and that's the best way to learn dash plotly and data visualization with Python is to change the code. But I'm gonna put this YouTube link under each and every um, uh, Python uh, file. It's gonna take me a while, but I'm gonna put it on there so you can actually tie it. You can go straight to the tutorial and you can watch the tutorial uh, while you're looking at this code. Okay. All right. Um, three things that you want to be careful of. One thing is have the latest uh, version of Dash installed, right? Um, sometimes I'll say uh, here, I'll say version 1.12 pip install Dash. Sometimes I'll give that recommendation, but um, I, I wouldn't worry about that. Like what you should do is install the latest version. The latest version that is uh, that I currently have is... Um, that's currently out there is 119. If you, you can see the latest version by going here, copy this, go into this uh, website. Let me just close this so it doesn't slow us down. Go into this website and then just put dash, right? 
and you'll see, you'll click on dash 119, you see this is the latest version uh, from January 19, dash 119. So always try to install the latest version um, because uh, it's backward compatible. All these apps should work with the latest version of Dash. If you have an old version, let's say you have Dash 1.10, um, some new um, apps like the Cytoscape, this one, the layout, this might not work with Dash um, 1.10. So install the latest version. And then B, um, some of the code, um, you have to look at the code. Uh, if it's uh, the data frame that is pulled into the code. Sometimes I have the data frame in there through GitHub and sometimes it's supposed to be in the file. So it won't work if you don't look at it. For, let's take an example, Cytoscape and 3D Scatter um, um, dashboard. So this is the Cytoscape right here, Cytoscape this app, and we'll take a look at this. And then let's take a look at the 3D. Let's go into Plotly, 3D Scatter, Scatter 3D. Let's see the difference. Here, I'm pulling the, the I'm always working with Excel sheet and CSV. Here, I'm pulling the CSV from raw GitHub. So this is actually on GitHub, and it's pulling from the web. So this app is going to work perfectly fine. If you click run it, this app is going to work. However, if you run Scatter3D, you'll see here it says female labor cleaned.csv. So it's assuming that this CSV sheet is in here. And it's not. It's not in here. It's not in my GitHub repository. So what you need to do, because this is not going to run, this is not going to work, you need to go into the YouTube tutorial, copy this, like that, open the YouTube tutorial, and in there, oops, oh, I didn't copy everything, HTTP. And in the YouTube tutorial, you'll see down here, show more, you'll see the data, okay? So make sure to click on the data source and you have to um, download it into your, oops, right here, data right here. Not the data source, the data. And then just download it with this button. This is the CSV sheet that I'm using, female labor. Download it into the the appropriate place, into the 3D scatter, um, scatter 3D pie. Because this um, CSV sheet has to be inside the 3D in, inside the same file of a folder where this um, Python file exists, right? That that is how it's reading it here. Okay, so make sure that if you you do not see raw like this, um, then download the the data file. And lastly. Um, there's a difference between Python files and Jupyter files, right? Now let's look at chain callbacks. We go to chain callbacks right here. Look at these here. Um, here in the chain callback, maybe I can make this bigger. Here in the chain callbacks, you have um, .py files, this one right here. And this one is going to, going to work perfectly fine. You just click the run button. But you also have .ipynb files. And .ipynb files are not going to run. These are files that are for Jupyter or Jupyter Lab with Jupyter Dash. Um, so uh, make sure that you, you run these on Jupyter and not on a Python IDE like uh, PyCharm or Visual Studios or Spider and so on and so on. All right. Okay, so uh, the last thing is I wanted to show you a little bit about my, my YouTube playlist um, to give you an idea of, of what, what I have in there. So if you go into my channel, go into the playlists, and then what I would recommend doing is you're not going to see this. This is only for me. You will see 10 playlists. Just go into um, the view full playlist button. I'm going to right click and then I'm going to open, and you're going to see here all the videos that that this playlist has okay um, see here for example um, this playlist what was this called more advanced shit so here you have arbitrary things that are a bit more advanced like um, uh, dash on a mobile app or with layout responsive dash with a database that the callback um, which I'm going to do soon a new playlist just for callbacks um, and then you'll see here, for example, this is deploying app to web. So this playlist has all the videos that you need, or hopefully that you need, to deploy your app to either to the web with Heroku or Python Anywhere. Um, here you have regular Plotly graphs with no, not necessarily any interactive dashboards, but just regular graphs. These are complete dashboards that I think you'll like. We have a lot of complete dashboards here that you're going to see. So. Um, 
I don't really need to tell explain every single playlist just right click on it open it up and the titles of the videos are pretty self-explanatory you'll get a good a good understanding a good notion of what uh, video is in each playlist so I hope this will um, help you uh, learn dash plotly a lot faster I hope you become very strong at it and that you build beautiful uh, dashboard apps if you have any questions please feel free to um, uh, ask me under uh, the video in the comments and um, and that's really it. If you'd like to support my work, if you'd like to support this, this free education that I'm providing, um, this um, GitHub repository, and all these tutorials and all these playlists, you can do so by going either on Patreon or on YouTube and becoming a member. I'm also going to post there. I, I do regular posts for, for my members to help them uh, give them an extra push um, and learn Dash quicker. But I'm also going to put there... Um, um, a suggested video playlist that they can see in order to get started um, with Dash Plotly uh, uh, the easiest way and the fastest way. Okay, um, I think that's it. I hope this was useful. Um, always remember uh, we're better together, so help each other out, help other colleagues uh, with their dashboards, and, uh, and um, never give up. Always keep practicing. See you later. Bye-bye.